Now with the area's certified most accurate forecast six years in a row, meteorologist Chad Raithlisberger. After a little sunshine earlier this afternoon, now looking at a little more cloud cover moving in and more rain is in the forecast already late this afternoon and into much of the overnight. A look outside Storm Team 5 Skyview camera in Sturgeon Bay looking towards the north and west. You can see mainly cloudy skies, but it is quite warm 82 degrees this afternoon and now looking towards the west in Appleton 81 degrees with some of those darker clouds. Now moving in 81 as well in Green Bay and in O'Connell, 81 in Clintonville, 82 in Wapaka. No some cooler air, uh, 70s to the north and west where we have had a few rain showers already this afternoon and a little more cloud cover across the north as well. How about these dew points? Upper 60s and lower 70s. You can really feel the humidity across the area and unfortunately it will still remain humid over the next several days. It's not really until the upcoming weekend when we start to get some more drier, more comfortable air back into northeastern Wisconsin. So satellite radar showing a few areas of rain, one to our north and east and another uh, across the western portions of the viewing area. First of all, across uh, portions of northern Door County and now just exiting Menominee County in Michigan. Some light to at times and moderate rain, but still haven't noticed any lightning strikes uh, with that rain moving through right now. Here we are uh, across Outagamie County and Wapaka County, just some scattered light to at times a moderate rain showers. Uh, that's about it right now across our area. Now we are watching more showers and storms developing across western Wisconsin and southern Minnesota. In fact, severe thunderstorm warnings and even a tornado warning near Albert, uh, Albert Lee in Minnesota. Uh, this activity will continue to expand and move eastward along a stationary front cutting through the state of Wisconsin right now. And it is near that front where we could see multiple rounds of showers and thunderstorms through the overnight. In fact, we have flash flood watches in effect off to our west and severe thunderstorm watches where we have that severe weather ongoing across Minnesota and northern Iowa right now. Best chance for these showers and thunderstorms cuts right through our portion of the state and continues off to the south and west. But the best chance for severe weather will be across western Wisconsin southern Minnesota and northern Iowa for tonight, but we could still have some of that heavy rain. And there's a slight risk for some uh, very heavy rainfall from about the lake shore continuing through central and western Wisconsin. So that will be our main concern through the overnight and into early tomorrow morning. Future cast showing maybe just a few showers uh, into the early evening, but it's activity off to the west that moves in mainly after 10 o'clock this evening continues through the early morning hours on Tuesday. Your morning commute tomorrow looking like it could be on the wet side and then another chance for showers and storms tomorrow afternoon, especially from Green Bay into the south. But in detail for tonight, look for scattered showers and thunderstorms, some of which could produce some heavy rain with a muggy low temperature for many of us in the mid to upper 60s. And then for your Tuesday, we'll see some rain showers during the morning and then more chances for showers and storms by the afternoon with highs away from the lake back into the 80s. Your seven day planner has a dry day on Wednesday, more showers and storms for the 4th of July and those temperatures remain in the upper 70s and lower 80s through the upcoming weekend.